Hello guys, in today's tutorial I'll be addressing one of your requests which was to make this kind of uh, tooltip thing normally there is one when something new is introduced to the game for instance you are in a game and suddenly you get the, the ability to run well then it would show like a little sign saying you now can run and that's kind of what you're going to do so I've got the sprites over here I made the sign and one thing that will be the tooltip background drag them both to the sprites and let's make this 20 pixels to units and the rest points and two color and now we have this little sign over here and the way that is going to work is only one of players is near this thing uh, it will show that tooltip now let's create the tooltip so press ctrl shift n to create a new game a new empty game object and type there tooltip make sure that's at zero 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 now we're going to create in here a UI text and attach it to the tooltip so that it moves with it and what the text will say is something like press shift to run and you can even uh, change the font here by going into the fonts folder of your your system and you know just pick a font you want and drag it into here into unity mine is in the assets and you can simply drag it to there to give the new font and just like that we made a cool GUI text you can put whatever you want, we want and now about this background thing I'm going to make it a GUI texture so create on with this selected go to game object create other GUI texture and this will create a, a GUI texture of it as you can see and what we're going to do is to drag it into the tooltip position it like so and we can scale it a bit something like this you know and you may have some problems with it being in front of the player in front of the text all you have to do is to change this Z value and you're done and we're going to set this tooltip to be inactive by default now in the sign that we have here we're going to add a component to it which will be a physics 2d component and it will be a box collider now this box will define the area on which the tooltip is shown so we can make it so that is an area like this you can also change this box collider by pressing shift and moving these handles as you know this is the area where the tooltip will be shown whenever a player hits it the tooltip shows Anyways, we're going to make it be a trigger. Remember this, it's important. And now let's program this tooltip. Okay, so the way that this tooltip is going to work is that it's going to check whether our player is leaving or entering the, that area and it will show the tooltip when our player goes in there and it hides it when our player goes away so we'll be using the void on trigger enter 2d and type here collider 2d so that we can know uh, what collided with the sign or with the area of the sign so when this happens, the sign shows, and now copy this, paste it, and instead of being here, enter, it will be exit, like so. And now we're going to get the reference to that tooltip, so we'll just type here public game object tooltip. And now here in the trigger enter and trigger exit, we first want to know 
if what collided with that area was actually the player. So if other, which is the collider that entered this trigger, if other dot tag equals player, then what will happen is that we're going to access the tooltip dot set active and we're going to activate it so that and what this basically means is, is that this switch over here will be set to true and we want to do the same thing but with that set to false in here like this save now there's only two things I need to do to make this work the first one is to attach the tooltip to the sign so where it says tooltip we put here the game object tooltip and one thing that we haven't done yet is that the player has not the player tag so we're just going to change its tag to the player tag if you don't have it yet just create it and now if we play the game it should be working properly for now our player isn't entering the area the tooltip the tooltip doesn't show, but as soon as we enter the area, the tooltip shows, which is kind of cool. But there's still one problem because if we play, it all looks cool. But if we move the camera, you can see that that text moves with the camera, and we don't want that. We don't want it to stick around to that sign. So go to the code, the tooltip code that it's attached to the sign. And what we're going to do is to catch the signs coordinates and make them screen coordinates. Because I don't know if you know, but uh, the coordinates from the UI text in the tooltip are both screen coordinates that vary between 0, which is the left, and 1, which is the right. So the first thing that you want to do is to zero out these two so that they stay in that corner over there. You can drag the tooltip or itself, not each one of these, the tooltip over here so that you can modify, modify your text and stuff. So, so what I'm going to do to center this stuff is to click on the UI text and where it says upper, upper left, I put upper center so that it stays on the center. The tooltip, well, I can put the tooltip a bit down like so. Oops, it was fine like this but now let's go to the programming anyways in this script which remember it's attached to the sign we want to know the coordinates of the sign and transform them in screen coordinates and to do that let's make here a new vector free so this is just like creating a variable spot, but instead of being in here in the top, it's in here, it's exactly the same. And let's call it tooltip pause position. And let's now I'm going to convert the world coordinates to screen ones. So just type camera with uppercase dot main dot world and attention, do not pick screen point to world to screen point because it, it did not work for me type roll to viewport point and now it asks for a vector free and this will be will be the vector free of the sign the position of the sign but we want it to be a little bit above so we're going to add the position of the sign plus a bit of height so game object dot transform dot position will be the position of the sign plus a new vector free and now we'll raise this the we'll raise the that QI a bit like two units like so and this will convert and create a position for it and now let's just make the position of this tooltip equal to this position over here. So tooltip dot transform dot position equals tooltip position tooltip push semicolon uh, and remember this all should be done in the update function so that it is updated every frame and now let's pray for this to work oh I forgot to make this inactive by default 
Okay, now we are out of the box. To any near it, you'll see that it spawns over there, which is exactly where we want. And if we move the camera around in here, you'll see that it remains in there, no matter where we put the camera. And that's it for today, guys. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.